new Africa Broadcasting Network. Happy is the man who finds a true friend, and far happier is he who finds that true friend in his wife. The very day young Humphrey Nwosu set his eyes on Stella at a Christmas event held in the Ajali Town Hall, Anambra State, in December 24, 1966, he knew immediately that was the woman God had sent to him to marry. Humphrey and Stella instantly became friends. Given the strong impression they made on each other, Humphrey Nwosu, a public relations officer with Shell at Port Harcourt City, and Stella Eni, a school teacher continued to stay in touch and dated throughout 1967. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. The two loverbirds, Humphrey and Stella, got engaged in 1968 and wedded on May 31, 1969, while the Nigerian Civil War was going on. Humphrey and Stella believed that no obstacle could stop their love for each other not even the threat of air raids by Nigerian military. The young couple moved to Nsukka, where Humphrey became an academic staff of the University of Nigeria Nsukka. They gave birth to their first child, Oge Chukwu, now Oge Irono. That same year, they moved to California, where Humphrey enrolled in a doctorate program at the University of California, Berkeley. Stella also enrolled and studied at Merritt College in Oakland, California. As students, Humphrey and Stella had a son, Mr. Nemiko Nwosu. At the conclusion of Humphrey's PhD program in 1976, the couple moved back to Nigeria, where Humphrey resumed his profession as a lecturer at the University of Nsukka. Armed with a Bachelor of Arts degree, BA, in 1977, and a Master's degree in Education, MED, in 1982, Stella completed her doctoral work in education at the University of Nigeria in Suka during that time. The couple got additional gift from God. A blessing to the family, Noye, the third child, was born. Because of their love for children, God decided to add another gift to the family. Chiamaka, another child, was born to this wonderful couple, Humphrey and Stella. The couple also adopted and raised Humphrey, their niece and nephew. What a big, happy family. <music> Professor Humphrey and Chief Mrs. Stella Nwosu are both accomplished professionals in their own rights. Professor Humphrey is an accomplished political scientist and author. He has held several positions in the education and public sectors. He was a professor of political science and head of department political science from 1976 to 1986, commissioner for local government and chieftaincy matters and commissioner for agriculture in the old Anambra state, Nigeria, 1986 to 1988. Professor Humphrey Nwosu attracted and built the Union Bank on behalf of the community. He expanded and reconstructed St. Mark's Anakin Church Ajali between 1991 and 1994 while serving as Commissioner for Local Government Rural Development and Chieftaincy Matters in the old Anambra State, he assisted Ajali community to be the first community in Orumba to have electricity, and Chairman of the National Electoral Commission of Nigeria, 1989 to 1993, where he conducted the June 12th election, the freest and fairest election in the history of Nigeria. He has authored six books that have received critical acclaimed reviews, Stella is also an accomplished educationist and author. She taught English at the St. Teresa College in Suka, 1984-1997. Stella Inwosu lectured at the University of Nsuka. She co-authored a book with her colleague, which is currently being used in Nigerian schools today. Upon retiring from their respective professions, Humphrey and Stella devoted themselves to several philanthropic endeavors. Through their efforts, over 100 students have received educational assistance up to the university level. They have also donated a lot of money to various efforts in their community, Ajali, culminating in the expansion and reconstruction of the Anglican Church in Ajali in 1993. Truly, Humphrey and Stella are a really good role model to their children. 
They taught their kids the art of giving and compassion for others. Oge Irono learned this art of giving and compassion from her parents. She and her husband, Emmanuel Irono, founded TIS Foundation and raised $3.1 million to help end the cycle of poverty in Africa and the local DC community in Washington, DC. The couple, through their foundation, TIS, recently donated $1 million to historically black colleges and universities, which include Morgan State University, Bowie State University, Howard University, University of the District of Columbia, and Elizabeth City State University. The couple, through TIS Foundation, also presented Flavor and Sema G. Wafer with a check of $200,000 donation to the Christian Association for the Blind in Liberia. Welcome to NABN TV special event. My name is Joy Adedeji. We're at the 50th anniversary celebration for Professor Mosu and his wife. Such a wonderful couple. I'm going to interview them today. We want to know the secret of this longevity in their marriage and maybe some of us can emulate them. How are you, sir? Thank you. Yes. Uh, for a union to be durable, it must be God-oriented. You must trust in Almighty God, who created life. He owns life. But the two individuals who are two imperfect human beings that come together to form one body must make strenuous efforts to understand each other. To be able to understand each other, you must listen to one another. You know, it's not a question of one talking, talking, the other one not listening. Both are equal partners. If they listen to each other, they will begin to grow in understanding. Because you understand year by year, month by month, you discover your imperfections and de-emphasize them. Witnesses, because no human being is perfect. If there is anyone, tell me anywhere, there is none. We have our obvious weaknesses, but we have virtues, we have talents, we have qualities given by Almighty God. So, when we emphasize these qualities, you know, you grow in greater understanding and they emphasize the weaknesses, you know, then you must tolerate one another, you know, because when you come close to each other, the weaknesses are pure of you, but tolerance, then communication, what you don't like, you should be able to communicate in a way that is meaningful, not insulting. Uh, a union is like a mini state. That's a good way. Husband is the president, <laughs> and the wife is what? Uh, vice president <laughs> or prime minister. That's what he says every day. Yeah, and you know, um, the most serious note: this is the oldest institution in the world, the family, created by God Himself. So, if you have a state, a state develop if it has goals, articulated goals to achieve, if it has legitimate rules that guide behavior within the union, so there are some norms of behavior that more guide action for both parties. And when children start to come, they play role in the union, specific role. There is no union that will escape the challenges of life. We can come in various ways. 
those who may appreciate children, children may not come early. That may be source of conflict. Or it may come too quickly. <laughs> I don't know what life will be without that. I do. What are your thoughts, ma'am? For like young women of today, what, what would be your advice? Because these days there's so much divorce out there. Women need to be more supportive. Yeah, he has uh, laid out most of the points, really. Um, first, you have to believe that we have a creator, you know, somebody who created us and brought us into this world. If you have respect for God and pray always with your husband, you have to pray in the morning, in the evening, gather the children around, you pray with them. But the most important point you didn't add is the ability for one to own up for one's mistakes. The ability for one to be able to say, I am sorry. It's just three words, I am sorry. And it heals every, it will take away every problem. The man should be ready to say, I am sorry when he runs the wife. And the wife should be able to say, I am sorry when uh, she runs the husband. If you have that in a marriage, if that marriage will work. You know what, uh, what uh, causes trouble is when someone feels, oh, I'm the president, as he said, without giving deference to the vice president. The president has his own functions and the uh, vice has her own functions. So you have to recognize uh, the role of the vice president and she will recognize the role of the president. But every woman at least should know that you have to respect your husband no matter what. No matter what you have to respect your husband. If you give him that honor, he will cherish you, he will do everything you ask him to do. But most importantly, you have to say, I am sorry when you have wronged her or he has wronged you. That's what I have to add because he said everything, he said it all. Thank you so much. June 8, 2019, the couple, Professor Humphrey and Chief Mrs. Nwosu, and their family, friends, and well-wishers gathered at the couple's home in Maryland, the United States, to give thanks to God as the couple celebrate 50 years' fruitful wedding anniversary. Thank you. 
A 50th wedding anniversary of Humphrey and Stella is the celebration of love, trust, partnership, tolerance, and tenacity. Humphrey and Stella are thankful for all they have achieved through love and respect for one another. Their happiness is capped by the blessing of six wonderful Nwosu and a lovely daughter-in-law, Mrs. Ifeniwa Nwosu, and two magnificent sons-in-law, Mr. Emmanuel Irono and Mr. Yemi Adeniran. A great marriage doesn't happen by luck or by accident. They are the result of a consistent investment of time, thoughtfulness, affection, forgiveness, prayerful, mutual respect, and a rock-solid commitment between a husband and a wife. Professor Humphrey Nwosu and his lovely wife Stella Nwosu have demonstrated that for the past 50 years. We pray that your marriage always brings glory to God joy to one another, and blessings to your family for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home throughout the days of your lives. May the world be forever a better place because of the two of you fell in love. New Africa Broadcasting Network, NABN, your community TV station on a global reach, wish you happy 50th wedding anniversary. So beautiful. Thank God I found you On behalf of our executive producers, Moses Adedeji and Joy Adedeji, thank you for watching. My name is Brian Kamei. Oh, yeah.